A titer test is actually a blood test. And so what we do with titer test is it allows us to measure antibodies against certain viruses. So we're gonna do those for usually a rabies uh, vaccine or a dog distemper vaccine, which includes parvo virus, distemper and parvo virus. And for cats, it is the uh, cat distemper vaccines or cat distemper titers. So when titer tests are performed, they're performed by Kansas State University. They're the only lab in the country who does do titers on rabies. Um, and they do recommend annual checking, uh, rechecking of titers. Um, we find in our practice that we usually will do it every two years uh, because um, we find sufficient protection will last quite a long time. So animals who develop immunity and have an immune response will be, uh, will have titers that last for maybe several years. So the viruses that we test for, um, for both dogs and cats is the rabies virus, and that's really critical. Um, the other ones we test for dogs are distemper virus, the adenovirus, and parvovirus. For cats, we test for Khaleesi virus, herpes virus, and panleukopenia. So the results come back that show if there is significant um, levels of antibodies against these viruses, then that means the body has the ability to mount an immune response if they're exposed to the viruses. And so um, the lab does give us a reference range, and so we look to make sure that those, virus, the, those antibodies are in levels that would be considered to be protective immunity. So tire tests um, are very affordable, in my opinion. Uh, it ranges for distemper titers around $60, depending on your practice, your veterinarian, uh, up to rabies titers, which are about $75. So um, they, they are a good way to measure your pet's ability to have an immune response. And so uh, I think it's money well spent. Well, research has shown that um, our pets have built up enough immunity to last them a lot longer than we previously thought. So I usually will say to people, when, you're ch when you are a child, you get a lot of vaccines. Do you get them the rest of your life? No. You get childhood vaccines and that gives you immunity for life. So with our pets, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, the majority of pets will develop lifelong immunity. There are some, just like with people, who may not have that lifelong immunity. So that's why we do titers to see um, do we still have immunity to protect us? Um, and if not, then we would recommend vaccinating if those levels are too low.